All right, so I've been watching a bunch of retarded shit going on in the news and people and people and pretty much people. <sighs> the one thing I don't understand is why do you keep talking about situations that do not matter? If you are a fucking news network, you know what I mean? Like a fucking news, news, news. You should be talking about the fucking news. Not biased rhetoric. That's all they do. It's like CNN and Fox. Even Fox, like both of them combined. It's just like you just want to like fucking, you know? Exactly. See? <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> you guys need to start talking about news again, not what your opinion is based on certain situations. Fuck, if I wanted to hear your opinion, I would ask it. If I wanted to watch the news to see what is actually going on in the world, I would put it on the news channel. It's fucking ridiculous. It's like genders. All of a sudden, there's more than two. Fucking shit show we're living in right now. I swear to God in my life, this is fucking scary. Not even sick, it's fucking scary. Your kids, if you have kids, make sure you know what they are learning in school. Make sure you get to know the teachers as well. Because the majority of those teachers are in the fucking protests with fucking pussy hats on. And yelling, I would rather be raped than rape the world. It's fucked up. I think everybody needs to, with a logical mind, start homeschooling their children. <laughs> I, I keep laughing because it's so fucking stupid. I can't believe this is happening. And I can't believe people are actually, like, cool with it. Wow. Oh, yeah, I support that, motherfucker. Yeah, okay. Anyways, hold on. See, it's a fucking Friday night for me, so I can drink. Because Monday is family day. Tuesday is work. I always think about what I have to do when I should and shouldn't drink. And tonight I could drink, so fuck you, don't judge me. Plus, I just bought myself a nice 50 fucking inch TV for my own Valentine's birthday. Yeah, buddy. Smart TV. That thing's a m But regardless of all that nonsense, there's people fucking... Bums. That's what we call them, but literally vets. Poor people fucking on the streets freezing their asses off. And you guys are worried about illegals. I, I really don't understand what this world is coming to. Stop spoiling your fucking children. Make them work. Make them work for what they need to get in life. And maybe then, just maybe then, they might consider 
that they have to fucking do shit for a living once they grow up. And Justin Trudeau, God, do I ever hate you. Bringing in thousands of fucking illegal refugees. I'm, I'm scared to look. You see, I keep looking out, man. I'm scared. I don't know if fuck's going to come in my house and break my door down. See, I still make videos like this, but yet at the same time, I'm shitting my pants. Cause I don't know. Justin Trudeau is a fucked up motherfucker. He let in thousands upon thousands of refugees, illegals. He didn't even fucking. <sighs> didn't even look up them properly. Ugh. My cousin got killed because of one. By a fucking van. She was just walking down the street. Downtown. With her friends. Her girlfriends. And this fucking incel. Decided. Oh. I hate women. So. I'm just gonna keep driving my van. And look for a bunch of women. And drive over them. Man, if I had the urge for revenge, I do, but I believe in karma. But if I had the actual urge for revenge, it, w it would just be a, an ongoing thing, you know? Revenge, killing, and then whoever I killed, people would want revenge on me. And then they'd kill me, and then the people who killed me would kill them. It, it would just be like fucking 360. When the fuck is it gonna stop? My fucking cousin had to die for nothing. Because of a fucking pussy ass little. Incel pussy boy. What a fucking faggot. Actually, he wasn't even a faggot. I don't even know what the hell he was. I say faggot because I just say faggot because I but I was born to say that word. It doesn't mean I'm actually saying faggot. So fucking calm your hormones or testosterone, whatever you have in your body. That's not what I mean. It's just a word. Like, hey, you're gay. Even though you're not actually gay. So relax. Stop caring so much about your feelings and actually think about the fact that she died. Over your stupidity. Anyways, man... I literally forgot what the fuck the point of this whole conversation was. Yeah, conversation. Me within you. You guys need to fucking relax. This world is literally, literally going down the fucking drain. I don't even want to go outside anymore. I fucking held the door for a woman the other day. She was just on her phone. I held the door for her to be nice. Oh, you think she looks at me? She didn't even fucking glance at me. She just went inside like like it was supposed to be open for her or something. <laughs> I'm a fucking cunt. I seriously wanted to kick her in the ass and make her fall. That would have been hilarious. And then I would have laughed. And then I would have left. And then I would have said, ah. <laughs> whoop de doo da you fucking slipped, you fucking cunt. Yeah, she she was on her phone, just walking by. Do, 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 do. I was holding the door, like, for quite a few seconds, you know. 
Walks in, she just walks in, doesn't even glance at me, doesn't even say thank you, nothing. I hate this fucking world. You guys, everybody is getting so fucking rude. I mean, I didn't make a big deal about it, but I was just thinking. What the fuck? Why? Why would you be so fucking, like, self-centered and a cunt? At least say thank you. Fuck, I open the door for everybody. Guys, girls, everybody. Fucking children. Even dogs, man. <laughs> if a dog wants to go inside... Go right ahead, buddy. No, I'm kidding. I wouldn't actually do it for a dog, but, like, come on. I don't know. I don't get it. The fucking bitch. I literally wanted to strangle her. Because you know why? She reminded me of how she acts to guys. If she acts that way to a girl, holy fuck. Imagine how she acts to guys. This is why I <laughs> This is why I feel so bad for guys. Poor guys. They try to be nice. And then you have bitches like that. What a shit show we live in. Imagine that guy holding the door. She'd probably like say rape or something. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, he fucking held the door for who do you think I am? I can't hold the door for myself. I, I If she were to ever say I can't hold the door for myself, I would be like obviously not. Because you have one hand in your fucking ear and the other on your fucking phone. Actually, both hands on your phone. So how on earth can you hold the door? And then she wouldn't be able to think of an answer because she's too fucking stupid to think of one. Well, um, um, rape. <laughs> Fuck you. God, I hate women sometimes. I really do, you guys. You have no fucking idea. I'm sorry I'm probably boring you right now, but... I, <laughs> I, I just think it's so fucked up what is happening right now. My father, mother... God, my past... And I, I was, um, I was a pretty crazy kid. I was the black sheep in the family. But yet, I still know respect when I see it. How is that possible? I think that the best thing we can do as, I don't know, I guess the right, is just be right. I think that's the whole purpose of the, with the word. I mean, we're right for a reason. Because we're right. Do whatever you can. Keep pissing them off in any way fucking possible. I mean, like, don't do it on purpose, but hold the door, say thank you, things like that. Just be nice. Eventually, they'll fucking snap and say, why are you being so nice to me for? Oh, fuck, they already are. My God. Apparently, if you smile at a girl, she's going to say rape. Man, I, I, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm so fucking 
I don't even know what to talk about anymore because it's so stupid. If you fucking smile at someone and say it's it's like a rape or assault or something, that that's that's when you know shit has gone to a certain level of life that we definitely need to do something about that. Anyways, I'm a girl. Clearly. I have a girl voice. I'm not a ma'am. <laughs> you know? I don't look like a guy. And I'm not in the fucking store saying, I'm a fucking ma'am. So, obviously I'm a girl. So when I hold the door, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. Even for the guys. I always open doors, doors for guys, man. Fuck. If they're in front of me or behind me, obviously I'm going to fucking hold the door for them. Come on. <laughs> I'm just waiting for that one day that that guy, ma'am, or whatever the hell it is, says, Why you got to hold the door for me? <laughs> oh, I wish I could record that. My answer, honestly, would seriously be, what? <laughs> Why would you ask me something so stupid? Oh, fuck. Then that just causes a whole fucking conversation I really do not want to have. Ugh. That's why people avoid it. They don't want to go through that shit. Soon we're just going to have doors that, like, open between genders. And I, I bet you any money there's going to be, like, fucking 10,000 of them at that moment. What a fucking joke. It's not even a joke. It's so stupid. But before that, I'm opening the door for everybody. Man, woman gender, whatever, the dysmorphia. <laughs> Even if you look like a retarded fucking fool. Obviously, I will definitely hold the door for you. Because I think you need special, very much special attention. <laughs> Why you gotta hold the door for me? Do you think I need special attention? I'll let it go. I'll let the door go and I'll just keep walking. That's it. <laughs> Try to be nice. You didn't accept it. Good for you. <laughs> just, a, just picture somebody in a wheelchair, right? Just picture someone in a wheelchair that has the attitude of a radical liberal. I hold the door for them. Fuck, you didn't have to do that. I could have pressed the button myself. Apparently you can't be nice to people anymore. The more you're nice to them, the more they hate you. But that's just the left. See, the right would actually appreciate it. The right would be like, oh, thank you. And they'd be like, oh, you're welcome. Done. Done. That's it. End of the conversation. The right... I mean, sorry, not the right. The left. They'd keep going and going and going and going. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. I don't know. Man. <laughs> I actually didn't 
only one little thing happened to me today, and actually, I say one little thing because I hardly go out because of it. But yeah, one thing. That fucking bitch. I seriously wanted to kick her in the ass when I held the door for her and she was on her phone. She just walked inside like she was fucking God's gift to Earth. Like, you're welcome! I would have said that, but I didn't. I just went to my mom. I'm like, wow, did you see what a cunt she was? My mom's like, yeah, I know. Don't bother. I'm like, yeah, but Ma, I have to bother. I have to bother. Because if we stop acting nice to people, they're just gonna keep being dicks. No matter what, I don't care how rude people are, I'm always going to be the same way I always am. And that's respectful. Even if someone's a dick, they want to be a dick, fine. I'm still going to open the door for them. Maybe one day they'll learn. Life isn't about being a dick. The, the one thing I always think about is, listen guys, we have one life, one fucking short ass life. Why would you spend it being negative 24-7? Why? Why not just, you know, be happy? Fuck, just be like, thank you. Thank you for opening the door. Why do you have to think in your fucked up head, I could open that door? Why wouldn't you think that guy is op or girl is opening it just to be nice? They're not doing it because they think you're less than nothing. They're doing it to be respectful. I can't believe I'm talking about a fucking opening a door. Jesus Christ, who would have thought 2019 complaining about fucking opening a door? Fucking ridiculous, man. Like, it pisses me off so much, but at the same time, it's like, why? Anyways, we're all gonna die. So, you should just fucking be happy, I guess. Even though the whole... <laughs> I have no idea what the hell the point of this shit was. I guess the point of it was what's going on today, but... It's sad. I really wish I didn't have to go through that. I'm scared to have children. I don't want them going through this shit. Anyways, guys, whatever. Guys, girls, open the door. Give me your reactions. I would love to hear them. <laughs>